All right, let's say you're done with your plan and you want to export to AutoCAD. Let's say this is your plan in Revit. Sometimes you just need to go back to AutoCAD. I don't know, for whatever reason you want to go there. Or maybe you're sending the plan to someone that doesn't have Revit, but that just a floor plan. As you know, it can be a little bit complex working with Revit too because when you're saving in Revit, there is no way that you can save to an earlier version. So sometimes you need to convert the plan back to AutoCAD. Or maybe you're just getting in there to do some detailing and stuff. So I'll show you how... You can actually do that now you just come here to file and you want to go to export you want to scroll and come here to card format select dwg of course this is the file format for autocad the dwg file format so i just want to select that this opens up and there are a couple of settings which you have to do coming in here to where it says select export setup you want to come here to this modify export setup you click here it's going to open up this dialog box and from here well, these are just the layers. These are the different layers that are actually in your plan right now. These are the same layers that you're actually going to see in AutoCAD. It has everything from um, all the components that you've used in here. But they are just going to be appearing as different layers in AutoCAD, as you can see. There's really no need for you modifying anything here, really, because, uh, yeah, they are just layers. You come here to lines. These are the different types of lines that you have actually used or that are actually found in the design you know and stuff because you know in autocad it's going to be seeing everything as lines and stuff like that so there's really nothing to be done here just allow this at all at the automatically automatically generate line type or except you know what you're doing maybe you want some special line types here then you can come and you override them that's if you know what you're doing for patterns you just allow the patterns to uh, by default it's going to convert everything to or, or to a, a kind of a hash or something so there's really nothing to be done there text and font the same thing just allow the text to be by default and uh, now for colors if you if you export with the index colors 255 it's going to export it in color but if you want it to be in black and white then you can select this and then you make sure that in your AutoCAD file here you have changed the setting to maybe a hidden line okay so you export it we're just going to allow this one in color and then for solid poly mesh solid is the best that is what i always use and for unit and code coordinate um, you just need to select your unit here if you're working in metric unit make sure that the unit that you are going to be working in AutoCAD should be the unit that you select here. This means that if you're working in AutoCAD in metals, uh, make sure that you select metals here. If you're working in centimeters, make sure you select centimeter. In millimeter, you select millimeter. If you were to select something else, you go and you have a problem in AutoCAD. So make sure you select the right unit here. I'm just going to keep this on meta. And then coming to general, this is also very important. The only thing that you mostly want to change or you know, ch check here is the export file format. Now, if you're sending the file to somebody that has a, an earlier version of AutoCAD so you might want to export to maybe 20, 20, 2007 so that if the person has a version of AutoCAD that is really earlier um, they can be able to open that that is uh, like maybe 27 upwards they can open it except you know the exact version that you can select from this list there's really actually really no change here whatever you select I'm just gonna allow it at this and when you OK this it's going to take you back here and now if you were to just go to next now you're going to be exporting just this current view. As you see here, it says current view or sheet. But if I was to click on this drop down, I go to in session views. Now you see I can export a lot of things. I can export the sheets that I have created here. There are currently no sheets. I can export the views. And I can also go to all views and sheets in here. Well, currently it's just one, as you can see. Let's come here. So all views and sheets in the model, we have all these. So if I was to select everything here, so you can also as well export the 3d but i don't know why you'll be exporting a 3d from Revit to autocad but you also have that option if you were to screw here you can export all the elevations so you just put a tick you can say you want to export the east elevation maybe the west and all that you just put a tick whatever you tick there is going to export you can see now the floor plan the one is tick so if i was to put so everything i tick here is going to actually be exported now when i have selected everything that i actually want maybe you want the roof plan too or the parapet or i don't know whatever levels I'll just click on next and it's going to open up this dialog box and the only thing I want to do now is just to actually um, select the you can select the file format here again and of course you can give it a name and maybe you create a folder that all, all those plans will be exported in and you click on OK and it's going to perform that export into that respective folder and 
as simple as that that is how you export from revit to autocad i hope you have learned something today don't forget to like and share this video and also click on the first link that you see in this video to get the full beam course thank you and see you in the next tutorial